Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we are back in Grim Dawn Ashes of uh, Malmö. No, Mammoth. Yes, exactly. And uh, yeah, Wilhelm the Slasher. Level 19, tag not found, tag skill class name. Yes, We're, that's exactly our character, and we shall play him. And this will be a lot of fun because we are about to head into the Black Marsh with our newfound sorcerer skills of the frozen armor. And there we go. No, 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 he ate the meal. Wilhelm, you, you damn fat bastard. Why did you eat the meal? You have full constitution and health already. It wasn't, it wasn't needed. Now it's gone. Now we won't get it back. Uh, oh, it looks like I have to do some selling action. Oh, Chassie, you have a quest for me. Yes, the monastery. Oh, the hammer. Yes, but before we go to the hammer, we will have to uh, do some ta- Oh shit, the tower is in the Black Marsh. That will be exciting. Let's see how that one is implemented. Holy, oh, that is some nice pants. They are not full of shit either. Uh, very good. 15 physique, 19 cunning, plus 5% health. That is exactly what we need. Give it to me. Whoa, nice. Another 150 health. And more armor, which means more damage reduction, which we really need. Let's see how much protection we have here. Legs, uh, armor rating 143. And 70% of that value will be absorbed whenever the legs are hit, which is in 20% of the cases. Oh, hello there, Deckard. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, so Deckard Kane doesn't really do anything, of course, in this mod because items are already identified, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, uh, in the first Diablo, it kind of made sense because the character you were playing felt a lot lower power than whatever you could play in Diablo 2 and in Diablo 3, definitely. Um, so that kind of made sense to, to having to identify items because everything was mysterious and you didn't really know and all that stuff. But here and in Diablo 2, it should really be such that, or maybe not in Diablo 2 entirely, but uh, probably on the higher difficulties should just be everything is identified. But it was done deliberately to give you that extra, that extra little excitement before you when you're not quite sure what it is you just see the um the type of item and its quality level and then you you click on it and then boom it's the worst thing ever oh sorry uh yes exactly now i i know that it's there for that reason it doesn't make much sense for it to be that way uh from a game world uh point of view but it does make a lot of sense that it is that way from a um, from an overall theme and game mechanic point of view and player immersion point of view especially. So yeah, I, I don't fault the game for that. But in Grim Dawn everything is visible straight away, which makes a lot of sense. So where do we go? The Dark Wood? Yep, let's head back there. Oh, the LZ is hot once again. Uh, Fiona, happy, happy, quickly. Oh, uh, by the way, the uh, uh, developer of this mod uh, came by the comment section and pointed out a few things, which I'm uh, glad for he did. Also, he said, like, yeah, hmm, uh, it definitely looks like, ouch, um, that the, the the boss monsters seem to be a little um, on the difficult side. Yes, yes, indeed, they are. <laughs> Very much so. Uh, anyway, frozen armor, still active, good. Uh, what did I want to do? Ah, right, right, right. Um, yes, okay, it was right-clicking. That was something he pointed out. Uh, right-clicking, that is how you do it in Grim Dawn as well, of course. I already forgot that. Disband pet. <laughs> this is our pet. She's called Fiona. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> right, yeah, we set her to aggressive, of course. Then That's the only, the only way pets make sense in Grim Dawn. As far as I have seen with my very limited... Uh, amount of playtime, and with limited, I mean just uh, mo a bit more than a hundred hours or something. Um, so yeah, that's that's all good. 
Yay, Fiona's actually doing shit now. Yeah, that makes it a bit helpful. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of garbage coming my way. Slay them all, Wilhelm. Slay them all. Oh, that, th those are the situations where having a strong aura really, really is good. We didn't scout the whole map. But uh, I guess this is good enough. Yeah, let's head on. Uh, we're not going back to Whitfist, but rather over here. Over here into the Black Marsh. Oh, we already slew the entire camp. They were all Congo lining towards me. Now I know where they came from. It's... It's a genocide. Oh, violences. Um, yeah. Oh, head on to trophy. What? What was? What was that? That's a grim dawn item, of course. Uh, let's see. No, or is it? Oh. Oh, that is interesting. That is very interesting. That is. Not helping us with anything we currently have. But I think I'm going to save that one. Uh, our um, our life leech is super important. All right, here we go. The Black Marsh. New area. It looks very, very marshy. Nicely built. Yes. What do we have here? Return. Yeah. Not too scary. Oh, no. Archers and brutes. Well, the brutes aren't too terrible, but the archers, they're fucking blade damage! So, so powerful. And level 20! Whoa, is the entire marsh just... Just these pathways, these narrow pathways? No, that is, by the way, one thing that I think I need to point out, design-wise, is that Diablo 2 feels very open in its map design wherever you go, apart from some of the catacombs, of course, which makes the catacombs special. Um, that kind of special feel you kind of take away with maps that are more streamlined like these, which have narrow paths and such, um, because this feels a lot more like the jungle. The jungle in Act 3, that is. Uh, narrow paths and then some half-open areas, but nothing too bad. So, yes, it is... It's looking better, it's a bit more immersive, but it definitely takes Act 1's special feel of open areas away, and I'm not sure if that is intended or not. <laughs> Night clans as well, <laughs> all the enemies you expect. Ah, we are using a lot of mana. Is that just from our zeal? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah, the zeal takes takes a lot of mana. Oh, I think I missed a special area here. This looks a little suspicious. Oh, by the way, to get back to the um, argument about open areas versus closed areas and stuff, um, it makes perfect sense to have it this exact way, the way it is here, as long as there's only Act 1. Because you want to present a good mix for the game overall, so that you um, that you get a good, good sense of how it will be. But the distinct feel of Act 1, of course, by, by that is completely uh, shattered. And what is this? Huh. Maybe a random location for... The level, uh, what is it called, this cave that is found in the Black Marsh? Or would it be this, this tower cell entrance? No, no, that must be a special area thing. Uh, yeah, the tower must be specifically modeled and nice looking. I don't expect any less of this. But first, let's do the level up. So we continue our way down. Is this costing us too much energy? Eh, one per click, really. It's still fine. Let's go with one more frozen armor there. And activate! Oh, also what I'm wondering here in the Black Marsh is how good is the waypoint? Um, as in, how close to the tower is the waypoint? 
Considering I found neither tower nor waypoint, it might be pretty good. So possible to do... Oh, oh that's a lot of enemies. Uh, possible to do um, runs of the tower. And that is something we're going to try out today. I'm uh, not sh quite sure how the rune words work yet. Uh, you need items that have sockets. And then you put the runes into it or something like that. Or it might be a crafting recipe instead. I think that's what it is, right? It's probably a crafting rep uh, recipe at the uh, anvil. Because there are no real sockets in this game. So uh, that it would have to be done... Ouch! Stop it! Um, it would have to be done via the crafting mechanic. Ah, another potential place for some kind of caves or something. And this looks like the area exit? No, no it isn't. Just some crossroads. Uh, brutes. Where's the waypoint? Oh, there, uh, the second I say it, it pops up on the minimap. Is it a stable rift portal or an unstable one? Dodging all the fireballs. You go die now. Yes. Um, I don't think there are any unstable ones in um, this mod yet because that would require some scripting. And the dev said that scripts in this are very much workaround status and not done status. So, uh, yeah, don't expect any conquering of waypoints in this one yet. I believe those are scripts. Well, the question really should be... Like, would you even, if you could, implement that? Like, conquering waypoints? Hmm, I'm not sure, because Diablo 2 definitely doesn't have the mechanic. Finding a waypoint usually was again, giving you a sense of safety, not the opposite. So it might be unwise to, to do anything like that. Oh, what is this? Some kind of grove thing. Level up! Level 21. This is pretty quick. One thing I'm wondering is if via the um, area uh, settings in Grim Dawn, you have the possibility of setting a minimum level for the enemies and a maximum level for the enemies. And then that would give you the range they can scale in between. Because that would much more... Ah, the whole level one. Here's the whole, yes, okay. Uh, that would much more convey the feeling of Diablo 2 rather than uh, Grim Dawn, which is always scaling the enemy level. And I think Diablo 2 kind of requires that to really work. Oh, no, okay. Here we go. Mall, two sockets. Interesting. That's the first socketed item I find. So, it's, it is not purely by crafting something. Right, two sockets, mall. That, that is something we're going to use, I can tell you. That is, that is exactly what we need. But what rune words work on a mall? This looks like a new area. What's going on here? Black Marsh? Ooh. What? Okay, this is very different. Uh, are we somehow climbing up to the tower or something? Oh, is there, is there a path? It looks so weird on the map here. No, this is the boat. Okay. Okay. Oh, Tamo. Of course. Oh, that makes sense. Nicely, nicely done. Yeah. From the marsh, it climbs up to the Tamo Highland. Uh, yeah. Ouch, the fucking bleed! Uh, Balance-wise, something I thought about is that maybe um, for at least normal difficulty, it might be worth thinking about dialing back these special effects a bit more, like bleeding, and instead give them more base damage, because base damage is something in normal difficulty you can protect against via armor, more armor, or blocking. While later on, in Nightmare and in Hell difficulty, 
you can protect against these special effects as well and directly like if you if you encounter a problem like this like oh shit these guys deal too much damage and they have too much bleed uh, then you can get bleed resist that is more or less impossible to do that early on in the game because you don't have that much equipment choice and I think thus it would be a better uh, a better implemented game mechanic if these enemies like the archers dealt less I'm not saying none less of the bleed damage and more of normal damage instead if you want to keep the same balance okay we still haven't found a tower so that means it must be pretty close to the actual waypoint oh that looks scary what is this this looks like act three well now we know that uh, it will definitely be very easy to recreate Act 3 in this mod. This will look amazing. Oh, there's some structure here. This could be the old tower. Yeah, this looks like it. Untouched meal. Give it to me. <laughs> the greed. The greed is real. Okay, where where's the actual... Ah, to the forgotten tower. Hmm. Oh, that's nicely done. Nicely done. Uh, where does this lead? Just out? Yeah, looks like it. But that will be the shortest route, I guess, to the tower. So let's just scout it. Because um, we are going to do a few runs. I want to see some runes. Maybe, maybe we can find an armor that is socketed so that we can make a stealth armor. That would be cool. <laughs> Yeah, very short run distance here. It's looking good. But what is up here? Oh, another tower. A potential one. All right, let's head down. Forgotten tower it is. Ah, oh, even recreated level one. Oh, oh, that's a little awkward. How the uh, thing it's, it's too high. The walls are too high. But yeah, it looks like the original Diablo 2 thing. Just a ladder down here, and then tower level, cellar, cellar level one. Oh, that is very different. Uh, let's let's do our level up first. Safety portal, please. Oh, ghosts! Ouch! Ouch! What the fuck? Uh, are you kidding me? Why do they hurt so much? They are level 22 here. Maybe Wilhelm is just afraid of ghosts. Well, I would be too if they hurt that bad. Oh, go oh shit, that's too many ghosts. Come on, take them out. Take them out quickly, ouch. Now they are freezing at least. Uh, maybe I should just run around them. <laughs> run around them and just kill them via aura. Ow! Holy! Yes, Fiona! Take them out! Whoo! Fiona! There's a ghost chasing me! Yes, freeze him! Ah, that's how you do it! Maybe we just need bow and arrow! Oh, well, bow and er arrow is what we have already. Bow and arrow is what we lack. Uh, come on! Can you hit them? Yes. Here we go! Kill them! They're far too deadly. I can take on one, I guess. Ouch! Just imagine how fun, in, in air quotes, it would be if ghosts in Diablo 2... Oh, that's a lot of them. Uh, ghosts in Diablo 2 dealt uh, 800, 800 damage per hit in normal difficulty. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yep. Yeah, yeah that, that, is, uh, that is quite something. Alright, almost at my corpse. Corpsey, where are you? Are they? And all the ghosts. Okay, Fiona, protect me. Protect me from the ghosts. Yeah, you can freak them out a little with their AI. Ouch. Whoa, they just do so much damage. This is crazy. Hmm. Also, I'm not quite a fan of this. This is more of a Grim Dawn style map than it is a Diablo style map 
for the tower. The tower is a very simple location and very claustrophobic. And this doesn't feel like that at all. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is more like all kinds of rooms clustered together, while the tower is more corridors and a few rooms here and there, and not much way a way to avoid enemies. And well, here it doesn't seem to be that either, but um, still, still, I think this has a bit of the wrong feel for compared to Diablo 2. I think it works better in Diablo 2 with the uh, very special layout. This is more like a layout of the catacombs or the jail levels. Um, I, could, I could see that working. Yeah, yeah, that is that is more like it. But yeah, this not so much. Oh, safety portal on level 2 now. I think what would really, really help is if we got an armor that didn't have, like, zero armor class. That would help a lot. That would amp up my damage resistance by a whole lot, because 26% of the blows land on the chest. And there we have an armor rating of 118. Uh, are there some decent armors here? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Is this better than ours? Uh, retaliation, we don't really need that. Pierce resist is kind of nice. Especially against those fucking archers. But lightning resistance and poison and acid resistance and extra health, that does help a lot. We do have plus 4% health on our existing one. But the armor is just abysmal. But first, let's check out if we don't have anything that is actually better in our inventory already. Uh, no, is the answer. Oh shit! Oh shit, these are really good. More health, just like ours. Uh, less plus percent to health, which is a shame. But it increases armor by 5%, that's good. Cold resist, lightning resist, and bleed resist. The only problem is that Fiona is on these boots, so we have to, uh, get a new F Fiona, I guess. Oh, we can't get a new Fiona? That's a shame. Can we combine Fiona to make an abomination Fiona? <laughs> As she has become a component. That would be fun. Combine three Fionas that were obtained via a bug, potentially. And <laughs> just just make her amazing. Or maybe that is how you build an Act 2 or Act 3 mercenary. Oh yes, we can have our booties too. These booties. If we wanted to, hmm, slow resistance, movement speed, cold damage, 10% chance when hit by a melee attack, okay, that is uh, Howling Wind, very thematic for the character we're playing, who's all about cold and making uh, monsters slow. Uh, if we want to get Fiona out of here, then uh, we have to keep the add-on, yes, Fiona, come here. And I'm not sure, do I want to use these boots? I have high armor class, but then again, how much... How much does... Do the feet get hit? 12%? Uh, nah, not that important. No, no, I'm going to settle with these boots. The resistant reinforced greaves of Menhir's wall. And Fiona is now socketed on my boots. Uh, very nice. Uh, we can sell these, I guess. And then there was the armor. I think we're going with this one. Else our old armor is just a little shit. Yeah, this one is good. Let's put it on and ups our armor class to 114. You can see the chest was bumped up. Oh, there's another Fiona. Uh, what? Def no, okay, defensive desert mercenary. Does that say the same thing here? Okay, desert mercenary, really? This is not the desert mercenary. Fiona, have you had a sex change? No, no, she's still her old normal self. Oh, one thing I need to show to you, though, is the armor rating and what happens to it once we hit our frozen armor. Let's see. Activate. Bam! Damn, son! That is powerful. Yeah, we basically double our absorption here. Oh, too many ghosts. I don't care how much absorption I have. They, they are just too powerful. That's ridiculous. 
in um, Diablo 2, they are mainly troublesome because they can gank you and because they burn your mana. But here they are just massive damage dealers. Oh, our Fiona is set to uh, being stupid mode. Uh, aggressive. Ouch! Yes. Here we go. Now she's so aggressive that she destroys tables and chairs too. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Too many ghosts. Again. Oh, shit! This looks amazing! Whoa, this looks amazing in Grim Dawn. Fuck me! This is great stuff. I mean, the... The flaming uh, pentagram in uh, Diablo 2 in the cellar looks awesome too for its uh, for being 2001, but this whoa, awesome! Does it damage you when you step into it? Hello? Oh yeah! Oh yes, it does. Ouch! 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 We found the exit, down to level three. And level 22. Uh, so effectively, we are already in Act 3. Ouch, 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 ouch. Too much fucking bleed and damage from the archers. Nothing has changed between the Omelette 2 and this mod. <laughs> the archers are always over overpowered. Uh, I mean, these ghosts are just so painful that it, I'm just kiting them. Was my pet here, my little Fiona pet, seems to be dealing with them just fine. And there we... What? To the black... What? Uh, I, I don't get it, sorry. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, sh oh, oh, sh I, I get it now! Let me, let me go! Fucking hell, let me go! Woo! Woo! -hoo. Okay. The exit is there for a reason. And the reason is that I'm dead. No. Fuck me. All right, that, that is not fair. <laughs> that is just not fair. I wasn't even able to do anything. Oh, my God. I mean, really now. Dude, you, you, you guy who developed this. Uh, have you actually ever played a melee class in this game? I, I know you say yes to that. Yes, but fuck you. <laughs> this is... This is this is way over the top, man. Uh, in normal, too. I've never been um, spanked uh, on my on my balls like this. Although Wilhelm seems to be enjoying that. Uh, okay, Fiona, back up. We need to defeat. We need to defeat the evil countess. And they they have like the, these bosses have like special abilities of that of of super end bosses. You would expect from them like super crazy stuff which you would have to specifically prepare for uh, not something that you are you're dealing with on the fly because this just pure carnage I mean, wow uh, anyway here we go back to tower level three yes good thing I set a waypoint here Fiona we need to defeat this evil this evil bitch maybe this is also a problem with automatic level scaling. That could also be. And uh, this balance issue can be addressed by that. I'm not sure though. It seems to be over the top regardless. Uh, so where's my dead body? Here it is. Uh, maybe set up camp here now? Yes. Alright. Am I ready? No. You can't be ready for the Countess it seems. Because she is... Your blood bath bath boil... Fuck. No. Oh. Oh shit. Okay, once she's in Oh oh she's still shit Oh no come on Come on Oh yeah another thing you need to consider when fucking balancing this game is that you can't heal much Holy fuck Okay You can't just slurp healing potions in Grim Dawn Yeah so high damage output enemies are much more dangerous in Grim Dawn than they are in Diablo 2. So here we go. Royal Rune, nice. And a Tear Rune, oh, so also nice. And 
some trash. Alright, cool. There was something of zeal. Uh, is this of zeal? Woo! Holy! That's a lot of extra damage! Eh, let's take a quick look at what else is here. Is there a treasure trove? Like a treasure trove like in Diablo 2? Ah, this looks a bit like the... Some, some kind of... What you would expect from a necromancer lair or something. Oh, yeah, there is a big chest. <laughs> Even has the same sound effect. But there's no gold coming out of it. And we are out here. Yes, okay, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. So if you leave the tower from level 3, you are leaving right there. Okay, cool. That's good design. Um, but I think we have done enough. We've seen enough death for today. And I think next time we are going to run this place a few times to collect some runes. And maybe find some items that actually can be socketed. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.